Hey folks, I got this question from Tony. So Tony asks, Hi Dan, at what level can I assume myself to be if I have completed your Python tricks book, beginner or intermediate? Thanks. Um, so what Tony's referring to is my Python tricks book. The book is called Python tricks, a buffet of awesome features. And in this book, I'm covering some uh, intermediate and advanced level Python topics, like how to work with generators, what generators are in the first place, how to work with uh, decorators in Python, and some other patterns that you can use to uh, kind of go beyond the basics of Python and the Python syntax. So, um, well, Tony, what I want to say here is that it's very hard to put people in into these buckets, right? Like, is someone a beginner? Are they an intermediate level developer? Are they an, an advanced level developer? Are they an expert level developer? It's um, it's kind of hard to really find a clear definition for those terms. What I want to say though is, if you work through the book, and if you feel that after reading the book and trying out some of the examples, if you feel comfortable with these concepts like decorators, generators, some of the advanced level um, dictionary patterns that you learned in the book, then I would absolutely say that you're way past the beginner stage. I think for a beginner, a beginner is often someone who's who's really learning the basics of the language, the basic syntax and the basic features of, of Python. And if you if you're beyond that, and I would certainly say that if you feel comfortable with the concepts in the book, then in my opinion, you definitely be beyond that stage. And um, so I would put you more towards an intermediate level um, in Python, but it's it's kind of hard to judge exactly where where you fit in. I think it's a very, um, it's a very wide field, right? Someone could be the world's expert on the Python syntax, but they couldn't program their way out of a paper bag just because they maybe they lack some other skills. They don't know how to work effectively with um, editors or they don't know how to install packages. And you know what I mean, right? Like I'm trying to, to come up with, with some examples here, but generally it's kind of hard to uh, to judge someone solely on the fact that you've, that you've read a book. I mean, there's another possibility is that someone reads this book and they only read it and they don't really take any of the stuff to heart and they don't really do any of their own experimentation, um, then it's very easy to, to kind of be stuck at the same level and not, not get a lot of benefit from, from that material, right? So that's kind of the flip side of that coin. But again, you know, my, my answer here is if you've read the book, if you now feel comfortable with the concepts explained in the book, you've done some of your own research and some of your own experimentation, I would absolutely say you're no longer at the beginner level in Python. All right, well, thanks for the question. If you want your own Python or software development question answered, just leave a comment below and I'll try and cover it in one of my next videos.